Hey, Norman Marcus here, back again with another Oculus Go video. Uh, in my last video, I had a comment asking me how I recorded the video footage from the Oculus Go. Now, I did it by using the record clip function within Oculus Go. So, via the sharing options on the main menu, you can just click record clip. It saves it to the Oculus Go, and then you can just hook this up to your PC via the USB. Um, put the headset on, accept a little warning to allow the connection between your PC and then it shows up on your PC as a drive and you can just find the files and drag them off and do whatever you want. The, the pros to that are it's really good quality, so it's 1024 pixels squared, so 1024 by 1024, uh, and it's really good quality. Um, the main downside to it is that you don't record any audio with the file itself. So what you have to do is get a little bit of extra kit and split your audio maybe and sort of record out the headphone jack um, and maybe put headphones on yourself and then out to a, a separate recorder or out to your PC to record the audio um, or your phone or anything like that. Um, which is good and that, and that produces a good result. But obviously what you gotta do when you come to edit it is stick it together. But there is an easy way. There is a one button click to record video and audio at the same time. Now, there is a negative to it. It's recording via Facebook. So you basically do a Facebook stream and then you download the stream later. The downside to that is the quality is a lot, lot lower. Uh, so it's 360 by 360. You do get your game audio, you do get your video and you can choose to include your microphone as well. So it's kind of the, the all in one solution. Um, and I guess the way I kind of do my videos, well, I tend to put a picture in picture here, and it doesn't tend to look that bad. So let's uh, just go through the process here. So what I'll do to start with is I'll go to sharing and I'll record a video clip. So bosh, there we go, video clip of what I'm seeing now. Um, and you can kind of see that, you know, this, if I put this on screen here, this looks pretty good, nice and sharp. Uh, but the downside to this is if you switch apps um, or you know, if you go to the menus and that sort of stuff, it stops the clip. So that's a negative. As, as I said before, it doesn't include the sound. That's a negative, but the quality is much better. But there is another way. If you click the go live button, this brings up the Facebook options. Obviously o Oculus is tied in with Facebook, being one and the same company. And you get these options here. So you see it's already linked to my Facebook. I choose who wants, I want to see this video. So if I set just me, I can kind of record a video to Facebook. I can do whatever I want, say whatever I want, and then download it and then delete it, and no one ever knew it existed apart from me. But if I wanted to obviously share it with other people live, I could do. Now, if you want to record the microphone separately, you could. I'm recording it separately on the, the camera that's facing me here. But uh, the options here to, you know, choose, uh, choose to include your microphone audio. Uh, and you get to show reactions and comments. So basically a bit appears on the bottom of the screen, pretty much where the recording button is down there. That sort of shows people chatting and that sort of stuff. But if you're recording just for, uh, to download it later, I'd probably suggest to turn that off and don't worry about it. Uh, otherwise it kind of gets in the way. You, you don't see that when you record. I mean, the recording doesn't have that on it, but uh, you get it. You, it kind of sits in your way sort of thing. So I'd probably take you that off. Uh, so let's uh, hit the start live stream button. So prepare for a switch. So there we go, it should now be streaming to Facebook. So you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it says streaming or record video, but now it just says streaming. One tip I do have for you is make sure that you click stop recording before you hit start live stream. Because if you don't, I'll just hit start live stream there. It doesn't actually live stream properly. I don't know whether that's a bug, something that needs to be looked at, I'm not sure. But uh, that's just a note. So we'll just quickly double check on Facebook that it's definitely recorded. There we go. Yep, definitely live now. So we don't wanna be going through a whole video and then realize it's not recorded. So it's best to double check. So now you get the flexibility to kind of like navigate, switch apps, go to different things. Um, and it records all of it. It records the game audio. It records your voice if you want to record your voice. I mean, I can include that option. I can even go back into the the menu, so look, I can switch here, quit that, go back into sharing, go back into streaming, and when it comes back up, halfway through the stream, I could just turn my audio on, door off, or I could use it to uh, sync up my audio sort of thing between my cameras and that sort of stuff, which is quite handy. 
All right, so, but as I say, you can like navigate around, you can go through all the different options, go through the different apps, and you know, and don't worry about it ending sort of thing, it just carries on going. Um, as I say, the downside to it is, is that the quality is not as good. So you, as you can sort of see, here's a clip of it on screen now. You know, you, you can see the quality is different. You kind of have to expand it. This is the original size. Uh, so it's tiny, you can't see it, but I'll probably increase it at least 250% at 1080p to get a good you know, viewable picture. But I think it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of almost a, a decent compromise between the two. And then you get the audio and it's one click. You know, you what you could essentially do is just record this straight to Facebook, download it, and then you know upload it straight to YouTube you know, with commentary and everything sort of thing. So if we end this stream now, so I'll go back to sharing, streaming, and I'll wait for it to load. And end live stream. It says done. And there you go. And that should now be saved to Facebook. So now if I jump onto Facebook, I'll show you how to download it and then you can do whatever you want with it. Jumped onto my laptop, jumped onto Facebook, clicked on the video so it's gone full screen. Uh, we'll give that a pause because it's making some noise. Once you've got the video full screen, top right hand corner, you've got the three little dots, click download video, choose a space to save it. Save it to your hard drive and then, you know, it does take a little while to download over Facebook, but you know, that's Facebook's thing, you know, give it a few minutes, go away, make yourself a cup of tea and come back. Then you've got the complete file to edit and do whatever you want with. So in, in summary, uh, it's a toss up between sort of quality or convenience. Uh, if it's a quick, dirty video, do it this way. Super easy, straightforward, got the video file, do whatever you want with it. But if you want top quality, then you're gonna need to do the clip bit. But as I say, as you switch between apps, it stops, you have to keep on top of it, keep recording, get lots of different multiple files, but you know, it's, a, it's up to you sort of thing. All right, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, you thought it was rubbish, give it a thumbs down. But you know, do let me know in the comments down below what you think I could do better. All right, that's me done. I'm out, take it easy.